No! I'm done for now! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I decided to go up to 30 bombs, 50 arrows, just because it seems like good, nice, even numbers here. So yeah, now what I think I'm going to do here is actually save and quit, then go over to, over to the Sanctuary. Yeah, there's another spot that you can go to now, the Mountain Cave up on uh, Death Mountain. Remember that guy that gave you the magic mirror? Yeah, you can actually go over there. But uh, why I'm going over here is because this time I'm actually going over to the next dungeon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so that means I'm just going to uh, repeat the little rigmarole that I did before um, two parts ago, basically. Now, uh, because you might have forgotten. See, you want to go up to that little light-colored stone in the middle and do so. There's a mini puzzle, and I mean a very mini puzzle. You go around here. And then you go over to the right when you actually get into the forest. Yeah, it's a sort of like a loop around dealio type thing. And then we go through here, and then we go down here, and then you get your hammer out that you got from the first dungeon. Hopefully, unless you're playing the dungeons out of order, and of which you're not going to be able to follow this then. <laughs> so you pick that up, you go on there, and here we go. Now, in all honesty, I think the next dungeon, dungeon number three, starts right here at the forest. Because the Skull Woods is a place that has multiple entrances to the dungeon. And as a result of that, there are different ways to tackle uh, said dungeon. And in this case, I'm going to start with this entrance right here. And, by the way, I, I, I called those Mor Moldorm Juniors earlier on in there, but they're actually called Mini Moldorms. I don't know how I got Junior out of that. <laughs> Maybe I'm playing too much Mario lately and thinking Bowser Jr. or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do here is just carefully work my way around, and, uh, uh, can I, like, I can, but, oh, pfft. I just ran right into the stationary obstacle of all things, and there is the map. That's why I came in here first, because it's the easiest way to get the map, but otherwise, that's all you've got here. But if you actually look at the map, you're going to see how complicated this thing actually is, because see where there's that, that little arrow? That's where he came in. Well, there's other entrances to this dungeon, as I said, <laughs> as I said before, so we've actually got to take advantage of that to find a way around these parts. So that means, as I said, the, du the dungeon really starts in the forest, because you've got to find other entrances to this place. It's it's a really interesting dungeon, really, and it's really confusing. Um, uh, and there's also a, a certain signature critter that you've got to look out for. This hole is also another entrance to the dungeon. I uh, think this leads to a part that I can actually get use out of. Yes, I can. Alright, so... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where is it? Where is it? I heard it! I heard it! Where is it? Where's the wall, master? <laughs> I could have swore I heard it. Eh, I'm getting greedy here. <laughs> it's just going around the pots, and I don't need to deal with that. Alright, so I'm going to blast this wall here, because it sounds like a useful thing to do. Whenever there's a crack in the wall, you can almost bet that there is going to be something good behind it. And uh-oh. 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 Bloop! <laughs> and that switches this right. Yes, it does. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is pull on this. Oh, jeez! I've, I've destroyed the dungeon! <laughs> the first thing... The first time that ever happened to me, I was like, Oh my god, what... what it, <laughs> it just... It floored me! And actually, I didn't need the hookshot to get here. What am I thinking? Oh, maybe I did need it to get there. What? Am, I don't know. Anyway, get get out of here. You are the most random critter in the world. And... Okay, so I need the boss key for that, so I'll remember that for later. I forgot. I need the boss key. <laughs> That's alright. I can go out this way, just like so. It's that uh, layout right there was really similar to... Um, I wanted to seek through there. It's really similar to that, uh, where the moon pearl was in the... Stop! No. Really? <laughs> it's really similar to where the moon pearl was in, uh, uh, the Tower of Hera, you know, third dungeon in the light world. 
because you've got that thing where um, you you got to drop down onto said chest area uh, because whichever way you press those switches, it'll always lead into a particular combination that won't allow you to go up and get the moon pearl. Uh, hey, we got some gibdos. Oh, here's the wall master! Those keep coming back, and what they do is if they grab onto you, they'll take you back to the beginning of the dungeon, and that's really annoying. <laughs> I would like to avoid that if at all possible. There's a switch there. Um, I gotta do that actually a special way. I gotta pull a statue into it because you gotta hold it down with a statue. Uh, but first, I'm going to go around this way. Just gonna take a, take a peek see around these parts. Um. Because as I said, this is a really confusing dungeon. Ah, there's a key. Finally, yeah, you gotta look through everything in this dungeon to find keys. And, uh, yeah, don't get grabbed by the wall masters, and don't really even bother killing them, because they just keep coming back. Um, this exit right here will actually lead you to another wing of the dungeon. Like, see that? See that up there? Yeah, there's actually something that you can do regarding that a little bit later on. And, uh, you're gonna see when we get there. <laughs> uh, right over here is another entrance to the dungeon. Yeah, it, there's entrances to this place everywhere. I do mean everywhere. Oh, shoot. I don't want to be taken outside. I, I'm not I'm not ready for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was on the other side of that pit. Obviously, we couldn't get to this side from the other side. That's that's the whole idea of the dungeon is makes you drop from one location to another in order to make progress from the inside and outside and whatnot. So yeah. Alright, so now that I hit this switch, it's gonna flip stuff around in other rooms. But uh oh oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! <laughs> no low no low health beep. I beg you not to give me the low health beep. Even though it's happening, I know it's- Ah! Now! They take so many hits, and they don't- the, the, Like, the sword strikes doesn't really do all that much to them, either. It just pushes them back ever so slightly. <laughs> grumble, grumble, and more grumbles. Come on, fall, fall, fall. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. <laughs> You're trapped in the corner nicely. I will take care of you so I don't have any more ire. And I really, really do have to, uh... Uh, get myself some more hearts and fairies and stuff, or at least be more careful. By the way, I like pushing the uh, statue up to that block because, uh, uh, does I just grab, uh, no, but yeah, I like, I like pushing the statue up to that block because it lines me up for that tight corridor. It's really hard to line it up otherwise, and I think that's why they uh, have that block there. So yeah, uh, here we are again. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh dear. Uh, killing the Wallmaster will temporarily get rid of it for a longer period of time, but usually it's not enough to make that big of a difference. At least I don't think it... I mean, at least I think it gets rid of it for a longer period of time. Always listen for that sound as of it falling down from the heavens. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, you can't collect things by swinging a sword at it in this game. Alright. Out of here, out of here! <laughs> now I'm gonna let it fall when I'm pulling this backwards, I guess. I'm just gonna do it like this. Run, 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 run! See, you need to have something to hold that switch down. That's why I'm pulling the statue back to begin with. Come on, come on, come on! And... Oh, 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 there we go! <laughs> Overly specific, aren't you? Uh, actually, I can just go... Oh no! Bunny beam! A rabbit beam, excuse me! Oh, there's the big key. That's what I was looking for. Uh, that, the rabbit beam, if it hits you, it'll turn you into a bunny, and you'll automatically be transported out. And I just realized I shouldn't have done that. I, I was like, I, I want to purposefully get grabbed by the wall master because I want to get back over to this particular spot faster, but I noticed as I was being grabbed that there was a, <laughs> a breakable wall over to the right side of the other room, so excuse me while I get back over there. That doesn't happen too often. Yep, I took some hits, so low health beep is going. Oh boy. <laughs> so I just need to get the bombs out here and uh, work my way over to this side without 
without taking a hit, hopefully. Uh, okay, now I can go through here. And pick up... What? That's all? I thought... Uh, this isn't the room I'm thinking of. Uh, what? Th th no, bring me up, Scotty. <laughs> okay, so now that I genuinely want to come through here this time, I'm going to... Uh, drop that down the pit accidentally, but now what I really want to do here is go back over to where the uh, big key was. Remember where I exploded the wall? Uh, well, actually, I could do this here, too. Man, there's so many things I can do. I'm just kind of just kind of befuddling myself. Oh, no, not this room. Not this room. Oh, no, not this room. <laughs> ah, I failed. <laughs> uh, I forgot how I wanted to deal with this, actually. Uh, I can just like do that, I guess. <laughs> but that's, that's not really the intended solution was. But I think there was like something that I was supposed to bomb on the outer rims of this room. Uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna have to do this. Take a little dam. Oh, that does a full hertz worth of damage. Oh no, I've game overed. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, really. But yeah, what was in that other room? Was it just the red herring? I don't remember... Uh, what was in the Helmosaur room? Excuse me for being... really derpy derp in comparison to other dungeons I've played thus far. Because as you've seen, I, I've been pretty much destroying the dungeons up to this point. So, uh... Yeah... For me to be in a... Uh, dungeon that isn't my element, I guess you could say, is kind of... Awkward feeling. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Is this just like a supply room or something? Like, what's what's the point of all this? Is this <laughs> okay? All right. Jolly good and all that jazz. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is go back around. Um. Actually, wait, wait, wait. This is. Not the entrance that I wanted to go out of. I wanted to go out. Yeah, it's a confusing dungeon. I'm sorry. I want to go out this one right here. This one is going to lead me out to said pathway to said boss key. Uh, I should say the chest that the boss key opens. All right, and that'll allow me to get the dungeon item. All right, let's fall down here. You remember this, don't you? You remember this, don't you? Yeah, you go through here. Uh, I could use those hearts earlier, huh? All oh, right. And there's that thing to deal with too. Oh, it bounced me back through the door. <laughs> it's cool though. We're all good. And hit that. And there we go. We can go through here. Avoid mini moldorms. And we got the fire rod. And that is the item of the dungeon. Now, how are we doing dungeon-wise, actually? Uh, we're doing alright, I guess. <laughs> I suppose as alright as we can be in this dungeon. So the fire rod, it uses a lot of magic, so uh, don't squander it. Oh, that doesn't do anything to you, does it? Does it? <laughs> but yeah, it can be used as an attack item. We're going to need that to uh, uh, get into a spot a little, a little bit later on. Um... Mm, yeah, I still need a bunch of keys to fully explore this place, though. So, let's go to another entrance. Um, oh, whoa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. The other entrance that I'd like to go to is... 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 over... Wait, wait, no, no, not here! Dang maze. <laughs> it's... Ah! Uh, yeah. I don't know this place well. <laughs> mm, where was the other... Now this, yeah, that would lead outside the forest in the light world. Maybe maybe the, the other entrance that I'm thinking of is indeed this one that I need to go through. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Hold on, I'm gonna check my map. Mm. Well... Well, actually, come to think of it, look at the time. I think I'm going to end off the part here, so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I hopefully have this all figured out. 